but grass, what you talking about? I'm about to jump into the whip and hit the whole foods early. Get everything to get that soul food working, like mac and cheese, the collard greens. Hi, Tofu Cubes, and welcome back to another video. Sorry if I sound a bit off. I've got a really, really bad back. I can hardly walk. I'm dozing up in ibuprofen and everything. I'm really, really sore. But anyway, it's vegan news as always. The first content we're going to talk about is cheesy vegan pizza hits the shelves of 150 UK stores this month. This is absolutely great news, guys, because I don't know, I'm actually going to be putting up a video quite soon for One Planet Pizza. They're actually the first UK based pizza company that actually does frozen pizzas and they're actually starting to roll out as well, I think very soon. But this one by Gluten Free Organic Pizza, Vegana, it's got vegan cheese, pesto, sun-dried tomatoes, it looks absolutely amazing. So it says UK-wide supermarket Sainsbury has announced that they will begin stocking ready-made vegan pizza on Sunday, the 27th of August. So get that in your diaries, guys. Get down there, get some vegan pizza. Let's get in there, cowabunga dude, as Michelangelo would say. Recently, the popular supermarket chain has been a, seen a huge growth in the number of free-from and vegan-friendly products that it stocks. And White Rabbit Pizza is the latest addition. I love that name, White Rabbit. Absolutely amazing name. I see that's all about the ethical, it's all about the animals. That's exactly what it should be. It's not about the food, it's about the animals. It's important we understand that. Every bite you take saves an animal's life going vegan. Last year, Sainsbury's made the news that they had released what was the widest range of supermarket-owned brand-based alternatives in the UK, altern additionally known as Gary, <laughs> after a consumer complaint about dairy-free cheese not really being cheese. The selection pro proved a huge success. Recent additions to their free range have now included ready meals such as vegan mac and cheese. I've tried the vegan mac and cheese as well, guys. Absolutely amazing. I'll actually do some taste tests on my channel very, very soon. So this is a pizza there for the White Rabbit Pizza Company. I love the logo. It really, really is. stands right out, doesn't it? The company's White Rabbit Pizza, founded by three friends who are mad about Italian food. Not all of White Rabbit's pizzas are vegan, but they're all gluten-free and White Rabbit have developed their vegan range. So just look out for obviously the ones that are vegan because it does say there and it states clearly that not all of them are vegan, but they're clearly marked vegan, Viva La Vegan as you can see there. So Sainsbury's can sell the pizzas that are suitable for almost everyone. All White Rabbit's pizzas ingredients are organic and the team have said they aim to make authentic, delicious, high quality pizza accessible to as many people as possible. Tio, the Italian pizza master in the White Rabbit operation, believes that the pizza is supposed to be inclusive, not exclusive, so developing a vegan range fits right in its ethos of the company. The range will include at least two vegan pizza options, the Viva La Vegan topped with vegan cheese, pesto and sun-dried tomato and the Smoking Vegan topped with smoky vegan cheese, peppers and olives. The pizzas are priced at 4 99 each which I know is a bit steep considering you get a lot of pizzas that say £2 and such like but you're paying for what you're paying for, you're paying for good ethical source products, no animals harmed into the process so every penny is well worth it guys. Having quick and easy recognisable vegan alternatives in supermarkets is a huge step forwards allowing people to switch a plant based diet for many people fear that their food preparation will take too long and they won't like any vegan food stopping them from making the leap. But honestly who doesn't like a good pizza? Exactly who doesn't like a good pizza? This is great news guys so that's the smoking vegan pizza there. Looks absolutely delicious and obviously the Viva La Vegan. So great news, it's great to see that the range is absolutely expanding into many supermarkets and that the demand is quite high for vegan products. All good in my books guys, that's what I say, let me know in the comments below. So the next article is actually Ben and Jerry's want you to create their next big vegan flavour. I think my vegan flavour would have to be peanut butter and banana with chocolate sauce, that would have to be my favourite, or banoffee pie flavour. Let me know in the comments below what you would actually make as your vegan flavour. But it says here, Ben and Jerry's are well known for their outlandish flavours. A quick trip to their flavour graveyard, don't like the sounds of that, 
and you'll see a whole host of concoctions that have been included Schwedley balls and economic crunch but this time they're putting power in your hands Ben and Jerry's looking to launch a new dairy free flavour and they're asking you to submit suggestions the possibilities for your proposals are pretty much endless if you can make it dairy free then it's game the new flavour will accompany the seven exciting dairy free options that include coffee caramel fudge caramel almond brittle Fan made flavours are common occurrence at Ben and Jerry's with two of their most iconic flavours, Cherry Garcia and Chubby Hubby, where are actually fan creations. However, when you're putting your flavour proposal together, you might want to avoid some of the ideas that have appeared on a list of 25 funniest flavours we've ever got and includes suggestions such as Gregorius Garganosa Zola, Breakfast in Bed, which included salty bacon bits and Mac and Freeze. No, we don't want salty bacon bits. We're, we're vegan all the way, dairy free. It seems that the guys at Ben and Jerry's prefer you stick to more ice creamy flavours. So far, all you Ben and Jerry's dairy free flavours have been made with almond milk. We're unsure as to whether a base can be suggested, but maybe it's worth a try, especially as there are so many options such as coconut, oat, or cashew. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Even that. Could you even think of a hemp style flavour or, or maybe, yeah, I would say coconut, oat, cashew, maybe hemp, that would be a good one as well. As yet, it's unclear whether the new flavour will join the dairy free flavours set to be released in the UK. Bummer, because we've not ha actually had these Ben and Jerry's dairy free flavours in the UK. I know all you guys in the US have had them, but they're yet to land in these shores. Still, if you're a keen ice cream enthusiast in the UK, then submit your suggestion and hopefully you'll be able to enjoy your very own flavour soon. So get creative thinking about those swirls and chunks. Who knows what you might be responsible for the next Ben & Jerry's flavour. So, I'll put the links for all these articles down below and hopefully you can submit your own idea to that. That would be absolutely amazing. I see great, great news. I see no dairy cow has to go through excruciating pain stuck to machines for hours and hours for you to enjoy cheese, milks, ice creams, anything like that. There's so many plant-based options and this just illustrates that as well guys. The next article is absolutely great news. It says vegan cooking show could be headed for mainstream TV screens. The UK could see its first ever fully vegan cooking show. The three women behind Just For Good Food have recently been raising money so that they are able to film not just a pilot but an amazing pilot and with five days left in their crowdfunder they've gone over 4,000 target by more than £300. So that's absolutely amazing that they've reached their target guys, it's absolutely great. Let's see a little bit about it here. So there you go, good for you, good for the planet, good for the animals, exactly, that's exactly what it's all about. It says if the pilot is successful, the star of the new TV show will be the vegan chef, Dee Radley. Radley who has been vegan for over 21 years, absolutely amazing, already has a website where she makes tons of vegan tasty recipes, now she wants you to take it one step further and head into people's homes via their TV. Her aim is to hit a wide audience who don't cook at blogs, or don't look at blogs, sorry, <laughs> who don't watch YouTube, who don't have an Instagram account. The team are hoping that having a show accessible on TV 
will obviously invite these people to try vegan. The UK obviously has tons of cooking shows, but unfortunately for vegans, still revolve heavily around meat. Exactly like I say, you've obviously got quite a lot of TV shows, but every one of them is actually funding the agriculture industry, showing meat products and such like. So we actually need a vegan show. Becoming more aware that whole place whole f food plant-based options are healthier. This doesn't stop the British public turning it into meat cooking shows. The initial support in the crowdfunding campaign suggests that free women aren't only people who can see the benefits of vegan cooking reaching a wider audience. Often people believe that going vegan is a lot of hassle and not really worth it or they end up eating plant, uh, bland, tasteless meals. The team at Just Good Food will no doubt prove people wrong and hopefully inspire others to reduce their meat intake. Now we must sit tight and wait for what we can only hope will be a wonderful pilot and judging by the day's other recipes, it's unlikely to disappoint. This was absolutely amazing because we need veganism in the mainstream and having a vegan cooking show will actually inspire others to show that they can get everything they had before in a US standard diet now veganized because like I say there's plant-based options for everything you've got mock meats you've got plant-based milks plant-based cheeses plant-based ice creams pizza cakes everything that you had before there's a vegan option for and this is what we need to actually drive veganism forward and I think this is a big big step because it will make veganism go into mainstream having a, a mainstream tv show let me know what you think about this in the comments below guys big news I would say definitely great great news for veganism and a great great tv show hopefully on the way the last article for today is James Arthur, the singing sensation, as we all know, he won the X Factor a good few years back, goes vegan and loses weight after watching What the Health. I know there's been a lot of debunking of What the Health and such likes at the moment, it's been a big hot topic, but it's really made a good impact in so many people's lives, so there's a lot of good things it's done. Let's see, British singer, songwriter and winner of the ninth series of The X Factor, James Arthur, has publicly announced that he has chosen to embark on a vegan diet, as with a number of celebrities, this decision has come following the groundbreaking documentary What the Health, which explores the science behind our diet, its detrimental impacts to our health and in misleading in information which confuses it into making poor dietary choices. James recently told The Mirror that he was miserable being overweight and has a new lease of life and is now almost half the man he used to be. Like I say guys, veganism is not about losing weight, it's about the animals and it's important we understand that but a lot of people do have to come to veganism to repair obviously health issues as well and it's important we understand that especially when you think of things like type 2 diabetes, colon cancers, heart disease and such like, these are all big killers and all can be reversed or even improved on a vegan diet. In his own words, Arthur details that I've been vegetarian for a little while but then when I watched the Netflix documentary on what the health, I'm now vegan. That's absolutely amazing. I'm a singer and dairy stuff isn't good for you. I've also got a Fitbit tracker. I was carrying loads of weight and it's terrible being fat. Perhaps just in a little bit for better health and an easy way to shed excess job. It's like James has developed, adopted a, a vegan diet rather than a vegan lifestyle. You know, that, see, that's where I think the issue is. A vegan diet, it's, veganism is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. It's about non-exploitation of animals and all things that we do, from the food we eat to the clothing we wear to the products we buy for our house cleaning and such likes. But yeah, it's good that he's at least making veganism mainstream because a lot of people obviously that follow James after seeing him being vegan, that's a big inspiration to them and probably can turn them vegan. But I'm not sure about the thing where he's saying he's adopting a vegan diet rather than a vegan lifestyle. So James is someone who has a strong emotional connection to the world and has could very very well be the first step into adopting a more ethical way of living. I hope it is. The self-proclaimed cheesy pizza lover has recently taken the US storm by soaked up Los Angeles vibes, which means eating a vegan for him will be a nutritionally joyful experience. But what's a guy to do without the choice of munch? James, we hope, sees this because the world of vegan pizza is your unwrapped oyster. So you get Cruiser Pizza, Lucifer's Pizza, <laughs> Lucifer's <laughs> the Devil, Evo CV for vegan.
Pizza Fusion choose very vegan. Pizza Nista choose vegan, ve vegan veggie. So that's great news, guys. Like I say, I just hope that he's going to be doing it for the right reasons. That it's not just going to be for the diet. And once he feels a bit healthier, he's just going to get straight back on off the bandwagon and back on to eating meat products. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you've liked this little podcast as always, guys. If you have got any news where you would like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Remember, as always, click on that little subscribe button, click the notification bell for upcoming videos, and follow me on my social media, Twitter and Instagram, and I'm also on Patreon as well. Speak to you all soon, guys. And remember, as always, binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings, and be kind to every kind. Tofu doesn't scream. Go vegan. Speak to you all soon, guys. Binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.